Hi there, I'm Lex. I'm one of the gun farms at Ants Canada Family. So yesterday there was a nacho flight and um, I found a latest Umbrada's queen. She's a social parasite and needs to be taken care of of a host colony. And that host colony functions as slaves for this queen, for her to get nutrition from. And the host colony, the workers, take care of her eggs, larvae and cocoons until their numbers are great enough to let her, uh, the workers, take care of their own colony and their own species. So, meanwhile, this queen needs a uh, host colony to lay her eggs and get her nutrition from. So, there is then uh, certain ways of the how to do it, the hibernation technique, the actual drop it in there technique, and I've developed mine from experience, from trial and error. So, the I've got here is already in place now. I've got a Tupperware box, and uh, on the edges there's an olive oil so they can't escape, and in there there's a test vial or anything. And I already put some, yeah, some cocoons from Lazy's Niger. There are also some uh, alatis in there, but I'm gonna sort them out, maybe for my mantis, it's food. So, um, what I'm gonna show you now, um, if you've got a Tupperware box ready, you've got a test file ready, and you've got cocoons and workers already set up, let them chill for like an hour or something, and then introduce the queen to the colony, or the queenless colony. And I use uh, sugar water as a distraction. So, wait, one bit here, one bit there, and sometimes I actually drip it on the queen, because that acts as a sort of decoy effect. I uh, drink from her, so they actually like licking it, so that also applies the pheromones. So, there's already a queen in here, and I'll try to let you look at it. Hold on. So, I'm trying to do my best to find her. Okay. Um, must be lurking somewhere. Oh, she's actually in the vial. So, that's actually one of the best strategies of hers because uh, eventually all the eggs will get inserted into the test vial and she's already there. She comes and accepts or takes over the new scent of either the latest night workers or she gives out the newest pheromone. So, I think I'm uh, what I can do now is just sit and wait, and in the meantime, I can speed up the process of putting a heat light on top of this. Not too warm, not too cold, just to make sure that it's, it's to get a nice nest feeling inside the test well. Anyway, I'm gonna give you an update later on the house again. Okay, bye bye.